I'm giving you a demonstration on machine translation, translation with a computer, and that's a real hard problem that has been worked upon for several decades. Uh, what you see here is not a very fancy interface, it's just showing the translation. You have a source sentence here on the left side, so let's take a short one. Uh, we send it to the translation server, uh, the statistical machine translation system of the RWTH Aachen University, and you get the French translation on the right side. And it's probably rather good, but it's uh, a simple example. Uh, what the system has done is uh, it has been teached to learn translations by looking at very many examples. So uh, it has been provided many texts in English and in French. And now if you provide another, uh, say, sentence, let me do the translation at once. This is a longer one, for example. Uh, you see, again, the translation on the right side and all has been done automatically. So instead of these two language pairs, we could have done uh, for example, uh, um, uh, French, uh, German, uh, German, English, uh, Arabic, French, Chinese, English, etc. So everything is possible with these um, algorithms uh, that are heavily based on mathematical methods. Uh, you see probably that the translation is good in the sense that you know what's going on on the left side, but it's not as perfect as by a human translator and that probably will be uh, for quite a while. Uh, but we are pretty happy with the progress in the recent years and uh, translation is meanwhile good enough for you to use it uh, even in your daily life when you look on a foreign web page and you want to know uh, what it is about. Uh, what is the problem in translation? Well, two things. You cannot just translate a word by another word. It depends on the context. It also depends on the word order. Let me show you that. Uh, here, if we go to the simple sentence again, I show you the alignment between the words. Uh, and then you see here, if the words would occur in the same order in the two languages, it would just be a diagonal. And if they are flipped around, you see these uh, patterns. Uh, OK, so uh, have fun using this technology. There's a lot that you can find in the internet. You can buy stuff. And uh, we can even combine it with our technology, speech recognition and so. And it's a lot of things going on these days. Thank you.